Hey, and welcome. We are three families who come together to help each other grow in our faith, family, homesteading, and whatever else life throws our way. Join us on this journey as we sow and grow together. Hi, Carrie Tellerico here with Sow and Grow Together. When we were doing our Q&A, on uh, getting to know you, one of the things that was brought up was what was your love language. So real quick, we wanted to kind of isolate this into its own video. Um, that way you would be able to, if you've never heard of love languages, you'd be able to understand what we're talking about. Um, so love languages, it, it, there are five of them. It's a concept that was uh, created by uh, Gary Chapman and you can find his book on the five love languages. And I'm just gonna kind of quickly go over this. Best way to explain it is it's the way you receive love when someone's loving on you. Um, there is quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, words of affirmation, and physical touch. And real quick, I'm just gonna go over kind of um, each of them real fast. Physical touch is you just love your hand being held, um, hugs, you love that physical contact. Cuddling, you know, it's fall. It's good cuddle weather, especially with a bonfire. Uh, receiving gifts is pretty self-explanatory. When, you know, maybe you feel super loved when someone has thought of you and um, got you a gift. It may even be the same for if um, maybe they've made something for you and you get the gift that way. Maybe it's not a certain expense um, and it's just the time consideration of them going uh, out of their way and thinking of you. Uh, another one is quality time. Quality time, uh, it's very important to really get to know people, not just the title of their love language, because each of these can be displayed and received differently. Like quality time is a great example of that. Quality time, you could have somebody who just being in your presence is enough. You guys can watch a movie together. You can just have dinner together. Um, you know, play a game. Other people, it's you have to be involved. Like watching a movie together or watching TV, that just does not count um, for them. So they want to be involved and engaged in either an activity together or um, like a physical activity that can that has communication and conversation involved. So it really depends on the person as to what type of quality time counts for them. And that's important to know when trying to show someone um, that has a love language of quality time that you love them. Another one would be acts of service. Um, acts of service is doing things for a person, action oriented. Maybe it's uh, having dinner on the table when your husband gets home. Maybe that means nothing to him and he could care less. And maybe that means the acts of service is in like, I don't know, going out and cleaning out his car or going and doing something specifically that maybe bothers him and you just completing that task for him. Uh, another one is words of affirmation. Words of affirmation is um, telling someone what they mean to you. Sometimes uh, people receive love that way and they want to hear, you know, you're a real blessing to me. Um, you know, what you did was awesome. Thank you so much. Sometimes those words can go a long way. Uh, now in the years, you'll notice I have, um, my other half is missing. He's a little under the weather right now, so you're stuck with just me. <laughs> but in the years that we've worked with couples, one of the things that we've noticed is that a lot of times communication gets messed up when you don't know their love languages. So one of the things that we've noticed with those couples is once they learn each other's love languages, um, perception and things kind of shift. They change a little bit. For instance, mine is physical touch, quality time are probably my two strongest ones. And yes, you can have more than one. My husband's is acts of service. Before I understood that, he would come in and do something. And without even talking to him, like I'm already frustrated. Like if he came in and switched over the laundry, he's thinking he's showing me love 
but that's not my love language. So I'm frustrated going, ugh, he must think I'm a failure of a wife. He, he is having to switch over the laundry. And that wasn't the case at all. He was actually trying to express his love to me where I would be like, let me hold your hand. <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> so, but this amazing thing happens on the other side is when you understand and realize not only does your spouse um, have the capabilities of being able to, and the knowledge to be able to love you in a way that you not, that you naturally receive. But now when I, even though it's not my love language, when I see him doing things for me, I understand it's his love language. And I understand that he is expressing his love for me. The other side of that is when I see him doing love language my way of reaching out and holding my hand of giving me a hug of cuddling with me on the couch you know these are things that don't come natural to him so then he's stepping outside of his comfort zone of his natural way of showing love to make sure that i'm fulfilled which just makes me love me more <laughs> so that's um, one of the great things about it. And this is really not just spouses. This is people. They show love. Sometimes they receive love certain ways um, better than others. Sometimes in seasons of life, it'll shift. Mine has changed over the years. I know a big one for me until I was really developed in my identity was definitely words of affirmation. But that one kind of started falling to the wayside and mine really started becoming more of quality time. Another thing is this can be used in relationships with family, friends, understanding how they receive love, um, understanding your children better and what season of love language they're in. I think kids for a long time are definitely quality time and words of affirmation. At least that's been experience with mine. But I watch those slowly develop in different ways as they hit different stages in life. And that can really be helpful in that way as well. Uh, if you're not sure of your love language, you can Google it. We'll try to put a link below. And there are free tests online that you can test and your spouse and you can even do tests for your kids just to kind of find out where everybody stands. And it's a good way to just kind of open the doors for that communication so that you know when you're telling someone that you love them, they're really receiving it. Anyhow, thanks. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. God bless. What is your love language? Oh, top Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you feel so now. <laughs> Mine probably varies. Uh, quality time is probably my biggest. Just spending time eating, hanging out, watching movies, or doing stuff together. But I feel like, oh, what's the one where you do things Act. for somebody? Act of service. Act of service. Yeah has become kind of a necessity in this phase of life as in I can't do everything, I'd, I want to do everything, but I can't do everything. So if somebody else steps in and helps accomplish something, I'm like, oh, I appreciate it. I don't know that's maybe naturally one of mine, but it just by necessity, I appreciate that kind of stuff too. Oh. <laughs> <Your turn. laughs> the circle keeps going around every so, time. Um, no, that's fine. You like gifts? I do like gifts. Um, I like quality time. We have differing <laughs> opinions as to what that means, yes, but. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what are the opinions? <laughs> I. I'm one of those like, you know, movies and eating and hang out and that sort of thing. And hers is more... Like if we're focused on something else, to me that's not like quality time. Like for us to actually be having quality time, then that means that like we're focused on actually doing something together that we're like not paying attention to something else. 
Yeah. Uh, or even like playing like certain games together. Like we're just like more engaged together. If we're just like playing it on the couch watching TV, then to me we're not like that's not quality time. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got something there. What's the problem? Maybe it is games. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Guys are awful. No. Um. <laughs> But my main ones are probably quality time and definitely physical touch. Yep. Yep, for sure. <laughs> I'm curious, and we've talked about this before, uh, the way you, uh, like, where you said you appreciate acts of service, do you guys um, dish it out the same way? I mean, do you, do you receive do you receive it the same, the same way you show it? Show it, or vice versa. Um, no. No. I show it. Well... Acts of service, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he, yeah, he is always trying to do stuff for me wherever, whatever's going on. And then if, I, but I think it started honestly when I was pregnant. And then I was pregnant so often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> where he was like, no, 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 you sit, you stay right there on the couch. I'm like, I'm gonna be a thousand pounds. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, don't get up. I'll do it. What, you need to walk into the other room for a drink. I'll go get it. <laughs> but yeah, I think that set a standard for us of like, oh, I'll do everything for you. Don't do anything. And if I did anything, he's like, oh, no, I wanted to take care of that. Like, I am capable. <laughs> do you dish it out all the same way you do it? Um... I do acts of service. Yeah, I do that's, gifts. that's really your main is like acts of service yeah. that you do. I feel like I started out the same way that mine were because it's like, why don't you just let me love you? Don't you want me to touch you all the time? And that's like not your love language. <laughs> and then I was like, he's not receiving this very well, so maybe I need to readjust. <laughs> well, we understand that completely. <laughs> Yours is acts of service. Okay, Mine I thought, is she taking a jab at me? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Mine is acts of service, uh, as far as receiving. As far as dishing out, I think my, <laughs> dishing out, that's funny, <laughs> the way you said it. <laughs> um, I, I really, with yours, I specifically try to hyper-focus on what you need. And then when the guys, if they, you know, if I know theirs, then I try to, if I'm, if they need something and it's an area that I know that their love language, I really try to step up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're re he's really good at that. He's good at morphing his, the way he does his love language. And it's probably because of the way we start out. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. In my mind, I wanted to he, say as long he thinks that ours is touch. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. As long as I cross the line, I'm fulfilling it for their wives. So. <laughs> And that's one of the things that I, I find more appreciative is now that we've learned love languages, I used to get frustrated when he would run through and clean the house or do something like that. And I'm like, he, I would have my own arguments in my head to be like, he's, he thinks I'm an awful wife. I see your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, when she's like, boom, if she's making supper, I'll jump in and do the dishes while they're getting dirty. And I'm she's like, like, I can do it. You know, I would sniff at him. I'm I'd be like, to help you, babe. I'd be like, I can do it myself. Just fine. Get out. Like, I would, I don't know. I didn't understand love languages. I didn't know that was his love language. I think the other thing is revisiting them regularly. Uh, making sure because ours have shifted a little bit. Yeah. And being aware of that because if I, if I stop feeding her what you know, her love language is, then. Since I know his love language now is acts of service, I receive that. Like, I choose to receive it because I know he's doing it because he loves me. But when I see him step out of his natural comfort zone and purposefully touch, because he knows mine is touch, it almost makes it double power because I'm like, 
Oh, you used to <laughs> double power. <laughs> Why do I have the power? <laughs> <laughs> because we were just talking about superpowers earlier. That's true. As long as it's not. <laughs> Thank you. I was saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, that, what's the, the crock pot versus the microwave? Is no. That, is that right? That yes, that's wrong? right, but no. No, I was just saying, as long as it's not the microwave, it's the crock pot. No, you're not giving any context. No one will understand uh, that. Okay, I'll sleep in the house. That's why I just said I'm that. not going in that direction. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, it means more to me because I know he's stepping outside of his comfort zone in order to fulfill my love language. So, obviously, mine's such quality time. Um, but in 23 years, there has kind of been a two, be a definitely a two become one because they have shifted. It's shifted depending on seasons and what our needs were in the moment. Um, so we've definitely seen the shift and some of the things trade out a little bit. The quality time I've started to shift a little bit in that area for you. Touch is still just sex to me. <laughs> 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 well, men, is that, <laughs> that is accurate. I get it. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to put it in there. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> you like sign up for a subscription if you like the, the R rated version of this. <laughs> Why is James the only one talking on it? <laughs> um, ugh, no. Ugh, where am I going with this? This is a pause that Cassie cannot put in the video.